Hi everybody! Today we're here in Atlanta at the Museum of Puppetry and we're here to see something special for Christmas. The Rankin Bass Puppets. You know Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? They're here. You guys ready? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Here is our timed tickets for one o'clock here at the Center of Puppetry. Oh, by the way, we do have to wear masks in here because they require them. So everybody's got their mask on happily. And it costs $64 for the four of us to get in. So they're here from November the 11th to January the 2nd. This sat out in front of Montgomery Wards in 1939 in Chicago. And it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ride it cost 10 cents that was actually kind of expensive back in 1939 dawn do you want to ride rudolph <laughs> that is cool i like that we're here to see the rankin bass figurines you know from rudolph the red-nosed reindeer So back in 2006, they disappeared. They went up for auction just recently, and somebody spent like 300,000 plus dollars to buy them. And then they lent them on like a semi-permanent residency here at the Museum of Puppetry. So the actual figurines of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa, they're actually here. We're gonna see them today. Are you stoked? I am stoked. I am. So mom said that she grew up with Rudolph. So this has been running for a long time. So you grew up. We used to watch it every Christmas Eve. Yep. And then I was little. I remember sitting down with you guys watching the Rankin Bass. So yes. And then there's all new generations that are experiencing it. Uh, it's just great. I'm glad that some of these puppets were were yes. saved and they're here for folks to see. We're gonna head into the worlds of puppetry. This side is the Jim Henson collection. But first, we're gonna do the global collection. Back before modern day cartoons and stuff. The only way kids can get like that type of atmosphere is through puppets. And these puppet masters would go throughout Europe and just put on little puppet shows and kids would go around and pay a few cents, five cents to see these great shows. And some of these shows were so awesome. It would blow your mind on, on it almost looked real. Here are different puppets from different countries. This one here is from Cuba. Wow, that one is from the United States. It's called the Green-Faced Girl. Huh. They call him the Mad Hatter. He's also from the United States. Ready the Roadrunner. Political puppet? Huh. So my mom says she actually remembers her. Uh, her name is Madam, right? Or yeah. Madame? Yeah. So you remember yes, her as a I kid? Yeah, I remember seeing, yeah. Yeah. Look at the dog doll. It looks, he looks really fancy too. The dog marinette. The drunken sailor. I think he's the drunken clown. Mom said that she remembers this guy. His name is Viceroy. I remember him. So these guys are from back in your day too, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 These puppets are, are full size. Look at look at that. They're they're as big as we are. Here's Santa Claus and he's from the United States from 1968. Uh, the puppet was created for a limited release in 1960s to stop motion film a very special Christmas by Ron Merrick and Omega Studios. Don, it's Gumby. It's it's the actual Gumby. He once was a little green glob of doo -doo 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 -doo. Gumby. These are more modern day puppets from the Corpse Bride. Sierra said, I know those ones. That's from your era, isn't it? Yeah. These guys are from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Remember the guys that make the comments in the old movies and all that? <laughs> it's Crow and Tom. Wow. They look so real. I mean, you can see her hair. Yeah. And the eyes and the lips. All of a sudden, they're marionettes. Look at my mom's the dragon. <laughs> Sierra is the, uh, is the knight in shining arbor, and Dawn's a knight in shining arbor. 
You guys are having way too much fun in there. This guy is called the Doctor. He's from the United Kingdom. And the devil himself, okay. He's also from the United Kingdom too. I wonder if any of our friends from over in England know who these guys are. This one looks familiar. I think I've seen it. Her name is Judy. Of course, she is also from the, they're all from the United Kingdom. This Judy looks familiar, Mom. Doesn't she? I think she's pretty, yeah, she does look yeah it looks familiar. Then, of course, you got the policeman and, and the crocodile. As a marionette, Punch made his first documented appearance in England in 1662. The glove pup, puppet Punch and Judy show arrived at the end of the 18th century. Mr. Punch popularity stems from no small part from the fact that he suffers the same troubles and frustrations as a common person on the street. And these guys are from like, remember the old Punch Judy uh, puppet shows? That's what this is from. They would like they would like punch each other or slap and they were kind of rude. Some people say, oh, they were rude. <laughs> These two are from Spain. <laughs> and they're they're quite big too. What you you've seen this before, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, somewhere. Well the, this kind of puppetry, you have people that are heading behind the screen over there, they, they're controlling the puppets by strings and they're they're in the water and they're, and they're so it's kind of like a water puppet show yeah it's kind of a water puppet show they have all these puppets that are in the water and they're telling stories with all these different puppets so you know quite a bit about puppets I've then I've seen, <laughs> oh look at the guy on the oh yeah show where they do, like, all in the water. and these are some of the, the figurines they would use and that's kind of what it was the setup yeah, would have been like. Be, yeah, go behind there. And... Yeah, because that screen behind there would be where they would be there. And then you would have all your puppets connected by strings, so you'd have to move. I really like these ones. They're made in Italy. And they have that classic, like, you know, look to them. first part of this museum takes you through the history and they got some pretty old puppets and they go through the different countries England all the way to China it's pretty cool uh, my sisters and my mom actually remember some of these and some of them do look familiar but just um, couldn't place them I've probably seen them in the past it's puppets, it's puppets huh <laughs> they're pretty cool though I love the history oh those are like what shadow puppets yeah, I think that's them up there. So that was probably something they used in in Japan. <laughs> Shadow puppets. Making a tiger grow. He's got too many heads. <laughs> yeah, I think he's Indian or <laughs> India oh. from India, probably right. Let's check out the Jim Henson collection. This is what I've been waiting for. Of course, we all know who Jim Henson is. Yes. There's a little bit of uh oh, the girls are all excited. They're like, check this out. Oh, it's Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I really like this saying, please watch out for each other. Love and forgive everybody. It's a good life. Enjoy it, Jim. Here is Jim Henson himself. Of course, he's the creator of Kermit the Frog and some of the most craziest puppets uh, we've ever seen. And we're going to take a little look. Jim created Crystal Burger puppets. <laughs> Dawn, there's the chicken sandwich guy and... And uh, there's, there's one of those little mini dogs, another chicken, and there's the breakfast sandwich. You can't forget the fries. What do you think about that? It looks good. <laughs> it is. It's you, crystals. Yeah, and you can tell it's Jim Henson because those eyes are just iconic for, for like Jim. He's got big eyes <laughs> and hands. I didn't know that he actually made puppets for Crystal Burgers. Yeah. So these guys are from Jim 
10 cents hour. First aired in 1989. I don't ever recall seeing this. It's called Dog City. Dog City. I've never seen it. Over there, I see it. My sister Jamie would be just totally jealous right now. There is Jim Henson's Labyrinth figurines. Now, we got to see Hoggle, didn't we? Hoggle's over at the unclaimed baggage. Well, these are the rest of them over here. And here we are, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. And there he is, Sir Didymus. Hello, how are you doing? I remember him. He rode the back of that creature and he used to swap people with that stick that is really cool and here's one of the goblins of course J David Bowie was the goblin king what kind of magic spell to use he was the goblin king <laughs> wow that's that's cool and this is fish lips <laughs> wow Dance, baby, dance. Come on, dance, baby. That's how that song went, right? Remember they had the, you know, what he says, shake that baby and make him pee. Oh, make, make the, okay, anyways. Here is the talking door knocker. <laughs> the door is actually a lot bigger than what it was on TV, or at least it, it was a lot bigger here in person. It would talk, remember? The door would be like, da, 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 da. <laughs> and there's a hoggle head. Hmm. And this is Cannonball. I remember all these guys. And there is the Ludo toy in the, in the Fury toy. But you notice it's just like buttons. Yeah. Oh. And then over here is the worm. <laughs> you remember that worm? That worm from the, I, you remember him? Yeah, he was cool. <laughs> Come inside and meet the missus. Oh, me? No, I'm just a worm. Come inside and have a nice cup of tea. I remember this from the movie Dark Crystal. Gartham? Puppet fe featured in the Dark Crystal. Oh, yeah, these are more puppets from the Dark Crystal. I remember that dude. He he was actually pretty creepy. I used to watch the Fraggle Rock when I was growing up. The Fraggle Rock! Yeah, that was like the best. <laughs> Uncleing, Uncle Traveling Matt. <laughs> wow, there's, oh, there's Red. Remember Red? Red, and yes. Mavis the Mirror. He's really mm -hmm. cute. Mavis the Mirror. Yeah, that was definitely, definitely cute. Actually, that's it right there. Fraggle Rock. One of the things I remember about Fraggle Rock was it was so colorful back in the day when we first saw it as kids. You know what I mean? It was like, it was just a really, wow, there's the Fraggle Worm. And they used a lot of remote control, you see that? Remember the Flower of Forgetness? <laughs> it's the Dozers. That is really, really cool. And there is Sprocket himself. Remember? Remember Sprocket, Don? Yeah. Well, here's a face we all know. Miss Piggy. Yes, Miss Piggy herself. <laughs> uh, this is actually from her Muppets in Treasure Island movie. And then you got Ron Bohr over here. <laughs> well, that's, that's cool. There's the movie poster up there. I see Beaker and the Professor and Captain Link Hogthrob and Julius... Strange pork from Pigs in Space. <laughs> and the most recognizable Jim Henson puppet. Kermit the Frog, that's actually the real Kermit the Frog. Well, hello, Kermit. How are you doing? It's awesome. Don, it's Kermit the Frog, Mr. Green himself, the man in charge, or the frog in charge. You see that? It's him. It's, I'm shocked it's really him. It, it's the real one. The real one. And then his girlfriend, Miss Piggy, is just over Miss Piggy. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. The Muppet Show. Always really cool Muppets. You know that song. Menomina. 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 Remember that? <laughs> Phenomena. <laughs> and 
And there's Miss Kitty. Of course, Manamana. And Scooter. You remember Scooter? He was he was he was he was fun. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely fun. Miss Kitty looks like a Mr. Kitty. Oh, Mr. Kitty. Uh, Here's some more props from Muppets and Treasure Island. There's some more feature movies. I remember the Muppets Christmas Carol, don't you? The Muppet movie and Muppets Take Manhattan. Muppets Take Manhattan is one of my favorite. Had the celebrities in there and that, and of course, Kermit. He was a celebrity too. There's old Splurge there. Splurge is huge, you know that? I know, I thought he was Grimace. You thought he was Grimith? Oh. Grimace? <laughs> He's got that one toother, you see that? Yeah. That one toother. That looks like a giant shark toother. <laughs> uh, I remember him from some of Jim Henson's things, yes. And then there's the donkey, Will. You wear the donkey? Is that a Tales thing? from Muppet Land. I think Dawn is trying to do a, a puppet show, but they have a little mock-up of what a TV set would look like. This would be the camera here. And with the right angle, it would... <laughs> what? I what? see myself on the screen. You see yourself on the yes. screen? And here are some of the folks that puppeteered some of our iconic puppets there. I don't know anybody who didn't grow up watching Sesame Street. 50 years and counting, and I see somebody who's big in yellow. Can you tell me? Yes. How to get to Sesame Street? It's Big Bird. <laughs> Hello, Big Bird. And oh, it's Oscar the Grouch. He's, he's a grouchy one, isn't he? But that's him. That's actual Big Bird. He's actually big in real life. He's really big. And then you got, of course, Oscar. I wonder if it's garbage can smell. I think maybe we should no, find that out. that one would be the grouch. Ooh, it does. It smells like, like fish and dirty socks. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, what's this? Oh, I remember this. One, nine. There's Elmo. Well, hello, Elmo. Oh, a cookie. Cookie monster, cookie monster. And you got Grover. Grover, but yet you, you also got Elmo, no, and Grover, and R Little Roosevelt. <laughs> Little Roosevelt didn't raise a lot of cane, did he? No, he did not. <laughs> that is cool. All the numbers together make 1969. I think that's when Sesame Street started, was in 1969. I'm standing next to the famous Bert and Ernie. Is that the Bert? It is, it's Bert and Ernie. What are they doing? They're collecting bottle caps? They look like they're like bottle caps. Well, hey, Bert, <laughs> remember? <laughs> what was your favorite, Bert or Ernie? Um, I like Ernie better. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your favorite, Mom? I don't know. You probably guys watched it when you were a kid. <laughs> Who was your favorite, Bert or Ernie? Mm, I think both of them were really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you guys, uh, don't, they're not very decisive. There's no reason to not to love those faces. That is the actual real Bert and Ernie, Dawn. I remember Clementine and Fred the Wonder Horse. That is, that is them. There's a dog from the Storyteller puppet. Remember he used to, the Storyteller would tell the story and that was a dog that laid on the ground and there's a lot of animatronics. You see that in, the, in, these, in these puppets? There's all these different controllers and, and different types of electrical to keep these guys going. Puppets can be very sophisticated, can it? It's King Gloshposh. You remember him? The King? Well, check this out. It's Sherlock Holmes and Brad and and Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> Brad looks like an evil Bert. Yeah, he, 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 evil Bert. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the drawers pull out and it shows what they they have in their drawer. Oh, look at the different the hands. You can tell that's Jim Henson eyes in it. Eyes, eyes in the hands. He's got a unique style to all the puppets. I don't even know how to sew. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this guy. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what it was from, but that's a crazy, crazy camel coming out of that door. He is cute. They actually got Jim's office here. This is his real, real office. This is where all his ideals came from. He got a couple, I think those are Emmys, aren't they? Pretty sure those are Emmys. And, uh, yeah. oh, he actually had a Kermit the Frog lamp there. Just think, Jim himself sat in that chair. 
That's that's cool. Early Kermit, Don. Black and white. Yeah. Wow. And this guy here. I don't know. It's Omar. And this is what we came here for. I come here to see Christmas Town, better known as the North Pole. Pull up an ice block and wind in here. Oh wow, so we're gonna go in and see. Oh Don, I see him. There he is, Rudolph and Santa. This is the original Rankin Bass. This is the one we watched on as a kid. That's the real one. That's 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 Rudolph and, and Santa. What what do you guys think? Cool. That's that's him. Oh, yeah. You can see his little red nose. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like it would light up. And they would they would <laughs> meticulously just move him a little bit, stop, take a picture. Yeah. Move him, stop, take a picture. And mm -hmm. after months and months and months. They would have five minutes of film, mm -hmm. and that is him. Now, the crazy story about this is, after they got done filming these cartoons, they just they just gave it to all the kids as like as like uh, gifts, and nobody knew that they were going to be worth technically. Well, these ones here sold for over three hundred and eighty-four thousand or some dollars. So. What do you think, Don? That's I'm him. Excited. But that's him. That is that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's so they had to plug in for his nose. Mm -hmm. But that's the one we watch as a kid. Those are the originals. Every single Christmas Eve, yep. when I was a kid, they'd watch it, they'd put it on, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And that's the original movie. That's the one we grew up watching. Yep. Eyes, yeah. And not many of those little figurines even made it. But at least we do have Rudolph and Santa. Mm -hmm. That's cool. There's Santa. Number the fourth. <laughs> Rankin Bass Productions. What is, you guys are part of the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? You guys are crazy. I can't believe you fit all behind that little, that little thing there. You guys are, mom, are you gonna be able to get off the ground? Mom found the hand puppets. What do you got over there? You got, is that Elmo? Elmo, hey. <laughs> that. Hello, I got Samuel. Oh, <laughs> That is cool. It's the flamingos. Ah, what's that? They're all squirrel underpants. <laughs> I guess you get a squirrel and you put them on there. How are you going to get a squirrel to wear them? I don't know, but you flip it around. <laughs> is that Wooberham Lincoln? It is. It's a Wooberham Lincoln. What did you guys think about the Museum of Puppetry here in Atlanta? It was, it, was fun. Yeah. it was fun. Brought back a lot of memories yes. growing up. Uh, just, just lots of fun. I definitely highly recommend it. They actually have puppet shows in there you can pay a little bit more for. We didn't do it. They actually have a Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer one going on. Uh, I had a great time. Of course, we come here for Rudolph and Santa. Of course, they, they were really great. I uh, just had the two little pieces, but they are the originals. So that was really cool. But folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in Atlanta, we love you all, and we'll see you guys next video. Bye, Bye. everyone.